I interrupting the artist at work? What is it, Natalie? Well, I'll get right to the point. I can see that you're busy. I've decided to surprise Alex this evening and cook a roast lamb. It was always your favorite. I thought maybe you'd like to join us. Sorry. Won't be able to. May I ask why? I won't be around. I'm leaving shortly. I'm disappointed. Is it because of me? What? Are you leaving because of me? No, Natalie, it has nothing to do with you. Well, I don't really know why I asked you anyway. You wouldn't tell me even if it did. Oh, Natalie, you really have a serious ego problem. You know, the world, everything and everywhere doesn't revolve around you. You're not leaving because of me. Why are you? It's none of your business. Would you at least tell me where you're going? I suppose I might as well do it since you won't leave. Very well, since you're interested. I'm going back to Tibet. What is this strange fascination with Tibet? There's nothing strange about it. After Central America, that's where I lived for several years. What did you do there? I lived in a monastery. A monastery? Now, do you understand? All this time that you were wondering why Erica and I are just friends. Well, now you know. I took a vow of celibacy. Jeremy, is, is this your idea of a joke? <laughs> Typical. Someone tells you the truth, you can't accept it. Well, this is the truth. And the reason why I'm going back to Tibet now is to be released from my vow. I never dreamed. I'm sure you didn't. Why didn't you? Say something all this time. Why didn't you tell your father or I? Natalie, this is a very private matter. No one else's business. Erica knew. Yes, she does. And she also know what I've decided to do. I see. I hope you do. Because I'm doing this for Erica and I to be together. Alex and I were never able to understand what it was that made you change, but suddenly this all makes a great deal of sense. You run off and become a mercenary, and then you try to atone for that by joining some monastery, and all because of that one terrible night in Canada. That terrible night in Canada is something that happened a long time ago. It's in the past, and it should stay there. What's important for me now is the future, and my future is with Erica. Oh, yes, I'm Erica. Don't tease me. <laughs> Jeremy, why wouldn't you let me come with you? You know why. No, I don't. I really don't know why. I mean, I'm just, I'm not a stranger to come to. That doesn't change the situation. The time I spent in Tibet was a turning point for me. One of the most extraordinary experiences of my life. Now, I know you think you understand, but you can't. Not completely. I have.